Am I focused? I am focused. I'm very focused, people. In the zone. Yeah. So, okay. Do I look focused? Just a little. Hi guys, in today's video, I am going to show you how to make edible feathers that look super impressive, but are super easy. Okay, so for these feathers, my main thing is a silicone mold that has a feather imprint. So that, and then I also have some petal dust and I made a mix of modeling chocolate and gum paste so that it can stay dry a little bit longer. And I'm going to make a whole bunch of feathers to cover my flamingo here. So that's it. Let's do it. Say. Okay, off. fine. It's not, it, the chocolate and the gum paste is so that it stays malleable and workable longer so it doesn't dry too fast. I think that's what I said. I don't know when I decided not to attach my pasta roller to the table, but it's every day I do it, I regret it. Okay, I rolled it to a number three on my pasta roller. And now I have, oh, this is also important, but if you don't have this, it's okay. A cutter, it's a leaf cutter. So because I have a nice combination of chocolate and gum paste, I can take my time working. So I'm gonna cut all the shapes out. I am going to make sure I dust them really well with powdered sugar, and then I'm going to get the imprint on each one of them. And after that, I'm going to paint them. So I, I am now pressing down my feather onto the mat and being careful to press only around the edges, not in the middle, because if I press in the middle, I will split it in half. And then with my ball tool, I will gently make the edges super thin. I am feathering my feather. And then when, with a smaller one, I'm gonna press hard enough so that I can break some of these some of the edges so that it looks more realistic. That one looks even better than the first one. On some of the feathers, I am going to take my little uh, sharp tool and I am going to just make some cuts like this so that it looks more realistic. Not all of them, especially the ones on top so that they look the best. Okay guys, this is it. These are my feathers. I am personally going to put them on a flamingo. This is my flamingo, Susie, and you guys can watch how I made her a gravity-defying cake because my flamingo, Lily, needed a friend. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how I did that. And for today, that's it. These are the feathers. If you want to use them on, you can use them on cookies, you can use them on cakes, you can use them on cupcakes, whatever you want. And if you actually want them to dry, just don't add the modeling chocolate and then only use the gum paste and they will dry because see, mine are still very flexible. So I am now leaving you guys and I'm going to work on my flamingo. See you guys next week.